Maybe drawing just isn't for me? I think it would be cool to be able to draw well. But like... I also think it would be cool to speak every language in the world. I mean, just because it's cool doesn't mean you have to pursue it, right? In that case, you could all be movie stars, rock stars, pop stars, uh, master chefs, I don't know. And if you're anything like me, <laughs> you've had similar thoughts. What's the point of pursuing anything if it isn't fun? Maybe, just maybe we're just appreciators. Of art. I always loved art, really. Uh, one of the biggest examples is card games. I just love card games, and one big reason is I just love how every single card has their own art piece, and you can play with that. Some of my favorite card games are Slay the Spire, Yu Gi Oh!, Arkham Horror, and Scrolls. No, no, not that Scrolls. This Scrolls. Mojang scrolls, yeah, that Mojang from Minecraft. Anyway, not just playing cards, tarot cards. Although technically, I think you can play with tarot cards, but uh, but but still, I, I like the art, and there are so many different decks, and I love the hero's journey. Although it is a little bit unrelated to that, but yeah, just want to say I love art. I also happen to be really good friends with people who happen to be artists. I've even been drawn a couple of times and I absolutely adore it every time someone does that. Actually, I have quite a history with drawing. I used to draw a lot as a kid and I remember I had this imaginary friend I always used to draw. It's funny, I don't even think I came up with him. I recall when I was like around 6 or 7 years old, we were just, I was sitting in class in a circle and we each had to draw something and pass it along. And then I came across this character at one point. And for some reason, I liked him so much that I just kept drawing him again and again. Even though we were supposed to draw different things each time we passed the paper. Even after that exercise in the classroom, I kept drawing him again and again and I made variations and I came up with an entire backstory like how are these things created, why do their eyebrows float. Unfortunately I forgot most of it but it was really a thing that kept me busy as a kid. I also went to a summer camp where it was all about drawing one time. In this particular case, I think summer camp was about comics. So I believe I must have been 11 or 12 years old. Anywho, at this summer camp we learned the basics of good drawing techniques. And these are some of the only physical drawings I still have left unfortunately. So for this summer camp we were supposed to draw a comic and at the time I was really into this game called Spore. So my comic was all about the Grogs. The end game enemies of Spore. Not really original, but hey, I was just really into it at the time. I remember being so in awe of everything the teacher taught us, and I just wanted to keep drawing and drawing, and even though we were supposed to take breaks, I told the adults I didn't want to take breaks. I wanted to keep drawing. This is drawing cap, not playing games camp. After that, I took a long break from drawing. I guess because I was about to hit puberty and I had a really really rough puberty. <laughs> so yeah, unfortunately drawing went into the bin. But in 2016, when I was 19 years old, near in 20, I started to take art seriously again. So this is the year the scroll servers were about to shut down. And there was this part of the community that decided to create their own card game. I wanted to contribute, but I wasn't sure how. So I was like, hey, maybe I can help with the art of the cards. So a close friend from the scrolls group gave me some resources and he showed me this course on learning how to draw that was very in-depth and free. This was the first time I tried out digital drawing. So once I got the basics down, I started drawing. Yes, this is one of the art pieces I submitted. It got called Piss, which I did not appreciate at the time, but oh well. 
Luckily, I was stubborn and I kept drawing and drawing and drawing. Although nothing came of the game, it did make me draw a lot. But it was not just the game that made me draw a lot. I was just afraid of being bored. I remember last summer vacation that I felt time was going so slowly. And I was like, no, not again. Let's always have something to do. So I promised myself to draw something every single day and I actually achieved that by my surprise. I just followed the course my friend recommended and he stated how important practice is so I did both physically and digitally. After that summer vacation it was time for me to study abroad. So I took my drawing tablet with me and continued drawing. At this point it was clear the card game wasn't going to happen so I had to draw other stuff. This time I was inspired by my Dungeons and Dragons sessions. I thought it would be awesome to draw my characters from imagination to reality and so I did. And I actually think I did a pretty good job for how not skilled I was at the time. Unskilled. After returning home though I seemingly stopped. I'm not sure why. Maybe I got distracted by my internship? Anywho, a couple years went by and since I didn't seem to be naturally motivated to start drawing again, surely that meant that drawing truly isn't for me. Right? The thing is, even this day, I keep getting signs. I've seen several videos in my feed up here on how PewDiePie apparently learned to draw in only a couple of months. And I've never even watched one of his videos. I also noticed recently how a lot of people who I admire happen to be artists. And I've been following up on them pretty closely lately. The last run Rifushi actually inspired the title of this video. Link in the description. But the biggest reason I'm questioning whether drawing is really for me right now is that I had the exact same thoughts about creating videos for YouTube. It was extremely challenging for me to publish something consistently, always having an excuse as to why I couldn't. I struggled for years and only recently I finally found an approach that actually works. It wasn't that video making wasn't for me, it was just that I hadn't found the right approach yet. So you. My loyal viewers who stuck till the end. If you find yourself to be a tortured artist, consider that. Perhaps you have been following the wrong advice, the wrong tutorials, or the wrong plan. If you have a dream in your mind that has stuck with you for years, I am willing to bet it is for you. You just gotta keep experimenting and trying different methods until you find one that is you. And if you want to know how I made the YouTube workout, check out this video on how to keep going when no one sees your content.